meteorologist Kate Bilo joins us right now. And I was just thinking that earlier today, I, it's been, I don't think I've ever seen a snow squall mm -hmm. like I saw today. Yeah. Usually they just come really in easy. and hit you a little bit and then get on out. Right, we've had a couple like that. I know a few years ago there was one over northeast Philadelphia that came through, and that one spot had whiteout conditions, two quick inches okay. of snow, and the rest of the region was like, we didn't see anything. Uh, yeah. So it all mm -hmm, depends on mm -hmm, where you mm -hmm. are. And uh, today we saw it across most of the region. South Jersey didn't get hit quite as hard, but all of the suburbs, those flakes were really flying this afternoon. This was the scene at West Goshen Community Park. Watch this come through. There were people out on the swing set maybe enjoying a little bit of sunshine before the snow squall came through and they were really braving the whipping winds and the snow blowing sideways outside and it deteriorated very, very quickly. So that's what we were telling you yesterday. If you have to be on the roads, make sure you stay alert because these snow squalls can come up quickly and they leave just as quickly. You can go from sun glare again to whiteout conditions to sun glare within the space of a half an hour. Let's take a quick look outside right now. No more snow squalls, no more precipitation, but now we are dealing with the extreme cold again. Temperatures plummeted more than 20 degrees in just the course of three or four hours across the region today. In the wake of that Arctic front, you can see some slow going even along Main Street in Bethlehem where they got a good amount of snow yesterday. The parking spots are still snow covered. The roads still looking icy and temperatures are going to stay below the freezing mark at least through Saturday. That means you're not going to get much snow melt out there at all. Watch for icy conditions in all those areas that got snow yesterday. Storm scan three again shows the snow squalls moved out. It was very intense for a little while as that band moved into the Philadelphia area, but now we've unleashed the cold. The floodgates have been opened and the polar vortex intrusion is upon us and it feels miserably cold outside right now. It's eight in Redding. It's nine in Allentown. It's two below zero in Mount Pocono. It's 15 in Philadelphia. Again, out ahead of that front today, we got into the mid thirties. So you may have gone outside this morning and thought, yeah, I can deal with this. This isn't so bad. That wasn't the real cold. It's here now. It's 21 in Millville. It's 20 in Atlantic City and 23 in Wildwood, but it's going to get even worse. You can see temperatures are below zero in Minneapolis, Des Moines, Chicago and Cleveland. This is the core of this polar outbreak. We're just on the edge of it, so it's only a one day event for us, but it is going to be a rough day. The feels like temperatures right now again well below zero. It's three below feels like in Philadelphia feels like nine below in Allentown and it feels like 25 below zero in Mount Pocono. That's partially due to those winds gusting over 30 miles an hour. A wind chill advisory will be in effect until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's a wind chill warning across the Pocono. So the overnight low tonight is five. The record is three, so we're close to the record. Blustery, frigid, feeling like 10, 15 degrees below zero when you wake up tomorrow morning and our high of 17 will feel about 15 degrees colder than that. And we usually look at record lows and record highs, but you can find data on the record coldest high. The record coldest high for tomorrow's date was 21. Looks like we will break that. That was back in 1935. We do have the chance for a little bit of light snow or snow showers to cross the area on Friday. Here's just a quick look at a weak disturbance that could bring some light snow Friday evening. That's 6 p.m. We'll keep you posted on that. It doesn't look like much, but if we get snow showers during the evening commute, that could slow some things down. So I will keep you posted on that chance. Then a big turnaround. We're up to 36 Saturday, finally back above freezing. By early next week, it's going to be in the 50s. I bet people will be out on Monday in short sleeves, like 50 degrees. Taking it off. Feels in. amazing. I'll be one of them. Flip flop <laughs> weather. <laughs> Huge turnaround, which is good news. All right, it certainly is.